Most adventures begin and end the same way. But it's how you utilize that time in between which determines your story. The problem is, especially in a place like Miami, you can easily be conflicted on what to do. One side of me was determined to get out and explore a new area. It's a city I'm familiar with, but a neighborhood I know nothing about. Little Havana. I was excited to meet my local guy Corina to learn about the area's culture and start off my day with a traditional Cuban coffee. <laughs> Meanwhile, the other side of me had less ambitious plans for the morning. This side believes that the beauty of Miami lies and never having to leave the property. Across town, Domino Park fills up fast and playing at one of these tables offers up conversations and experiences far from my own. It's a parallel universe to the Marco Polo game going on back at the hotel. In Little Havana, there's a story behind every door. Inspiring artwork created by artists within the community. And I'm able to just randomly walk in to witness and discuss his life's work. At the same time, the other side of me finds inspiration within other forms of storytelling. Ah, but the food. The food of Little Havana. Exploring the neighborhood, I discover fresh fruit, deliciously prepared traditional Latin dishes, the famous Cuban sandwich, and even some homemade Cuban ice cream. I get it though. Sometimes you just want to eat a fish sandwich at a cabana by the pool. Nothing wrong with that. But there's nothing compared to immersing yourself into a foreign environment. The joys of travel always come down to the connection with people. And if you can help them out on a shift at a local fruit truck, even better. And at the same time, maybe you're always around people and you travel to disconnect and just be free as a bird. But when the sun goes down, that's when Little Havana really heats up. Clubs like Ball and Chain and Oiko Mayer are great places to go out. But I decided to spend the night working on my Cuban salsa.
And if that's a little too much activity for your liking, there's always a spot at the hotel bar for some good laughs and a few craft cocktails. Whatever side of the bed you woke up on, whatever type of explorer you are, you can finish your day just as it began at your room in the Circa 39 Hotel. <laughs>